For a wide variety of reasons, Woburn Abbey has become one of Britain's best-known country homes. Today, the massive Bedfordshire estate includes Woburn Safari Park and a golf club that was home to the British Masters for 20 years. But in the 12th century, Woburn started life somewhat differently as an abbey home for Cistercian monks. Having dismantled the monastery, Henry VIII handed the estate in 1547 to John Russell, the first Earl of Bedford. It's been the seat of the Earls and Dukes of Bedford ever since. Whilst the 15th Duke still lives here, Woburn was one of the first large estates to open to the public in the 1950s. The manor house itself dates largely from the 18th century, and following recent renovation is in fantastic condition. Something the visitors can see for themselves when the house opens for tours in summer months. Outside, and despite the golf courses and safari park, the many deer of Woburn still enjoy the run of 3,000 acres of parkland. Park, and a golf club that was home to the British masters for 20 years. But in the 12th century, Woburn started life somewhat differently as an abbey home for Cistercian monks. Having dismantled the monastery, Henry VIII handed the estate in 1547 to John Russell, the first Earl of Bedford. It's been the seat of the Earls and Dukes of Bedford ever since. Whilst the 15th Duke still lives here, Woburn was one of the first large estates to open to the public in the 1950s. The manor house itself dates largely from the 18th century, and following recent renovation, is in fantastic condition. Something the visitors can see for themselves when the house opens for tours in summer months. Outside. For a wide variety of reasons, Woburn Abbey has become one of Britain's best known country homes. Today, the massive Bedfordshire estate includes Woburn Safari 